I was offered a job as a community organizer in La Junta in southeastern Colorado at the end of 72. And I jumped at the opportunity. And so one of the first things I did was help to start a co-op, a food co-op. So and that was important because it gave some credibility uh, to me and to others that were working on the project in regards to the community and what it was we were trying to do. And in 1973, I uh, was living in Rocky Ford, and it was there that as a community organizer, we, I realized that what we needed was to come up with a different system of health care for the Chicano uh, the community because we were being excluded from the system of care that existed at that time. We had to deal with the politics. It was like uh, David and Goliath almost, if not worse at times. No one, I don't think in the community, even uh, people who were lifelong members thought we would get anywhere with providing health care for those that had historically been underserved. In the beginning, it was it was a real uh, downer, negative ideas about it. Uh, they didn't think it was gonna uh, it was gonna amount to anything. And I'm just uh, thrilled that I was uh, a part of something big that happened. It was just a little little thought of somebody's thought, and here it is. It, it's over the Tri County, and they're uh, writing good articles about them. All of this, why? because I'm a product of the movement. I'm a product of the Chicano movement of the late 60s and early 70s, and I've been able to focus my efforts within the healthcare arena to push forth those ideals that we had uh, of the Chicano movement of improving the living status of our population, our communities, uh, and fighting for justice, fighting for equality, fighting for those things that we think each one of us deserves just because we're human beings and we breathe air, we're on this planet, and we're in this together. I'm proud to say that um, uh, I can hold my head high because that's what's driven me, that's what's motivated me, and that is what has um, guided my thinking throughout my adult professional life. It's not something that I held on to as a young radical hothead and let go of when I got uncomfortable with it or got a certain level of education. I've never parted with my ideals and I've never parted with the need for me to look at myself as a public servant someone here to care for my community because I said early on in my life that that's what I was going to do. If we can teach the ideals of justice, of equality, of being egalitarian, that's why we started the movement. That's what it was all about. And we must continue that, whether it is I, or now in this particular case, I handing off the torch to that next generation or generations, uh, and realizing that if each of us makes his or her contribution, we will be successful. We'll be successful as a people, we'll be successful as an individual, we'll be successful as a movement.